Foster care is a welfare service that temporarily provides substitute families to children when their natural families can't care for them. In Smith v. Organization of Foster Families for Equality and Reform, we explore what procedures a state must follow to remove a child from a foster home. New York state law set forth certain procedures for removing foster children from a foster home. For example, the authorized foster agency was generally required to provide foster parents with 10 days written notice before a child was removed. Foster parents could request a conference in which they'd be informed of the reasons for the child's removal. At the conference, foster parents could also offer reasons why the child shouldn't be removed. Removal of the child was stayed pending the conference's outcome. If the agency still decided to remove the child, foster parents could appeal for a full administrative hearing. The decision from that hearing was also subject to judicial review. Removal of the child wasn't automatically stayed pending the hearing or review. However, foster parents could request pre-removal judicial review if the child had been in foster care for at least 18 months. New York City provided additional avenues of review. In addition to the conference provided for by state law, New York City foster parents could request a trial-like hearing before a foster child was transferred to a new foster home. Organization of Foster Families for Equality and Reform was an organization of foster parents. It, along with numerous foster parents, filed a class action lawsuit in federal district court. They alleged that the New York procedures for removing children from foster homes violated the Due Process Clause of the 14th Amendment. The plaintiffs sued various New York State and New York City officials, including Smith. The district court found that the procedures were unconstitutional. The defendants appealed to the United States Supreme Court.